Oh! We got a lot of cookies, D. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Life, Austin. What about it? It's full of questions. It is full of questions. Especially the pressing questions of which Oreo flavor is the best. There's too many to choose from. I think there's like almost 30. 30 freaking cookies. That's a lot. <laughs> How are you supposed to choose? I don't know. Neither do they. That's why we're here to help you. That's right. We are going to sacrifice ourselves for you. <laughs> we're going to do the truly difficult task of eating a buttload of Oreos for you. <laughs> for you. Get your glass. Oh! Because we got a lot of cookies to eat. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Jess thought that was going to hit her in the face. All right. <laughs> Fill, Fill me up. Cups. Cause we got a lot of Oreos D today, boy. 30 flavors and all. You have 23. We have 23. I don't know where 30 came There's from. There's a three in it. We did this a few weeks ago when we did Chips Ahoy and I had a ton of fun. That it was way fun. That episode was seriously one of my favorites. The funniest part about it is I'm not even a fan of Chips Ahoy. Me neither. That's I why this one's gonna be better. It. This one's gonna be amazing. I we, love Oreos. I actually like the cookies. <laughs> well, let's get into these Oreos. Starting with, of course, the classic. The classic, the oh. original Oreo. The one that started it all. This was the OG. This was it. Before the double step. That's right. Then that became the new norm. There's just not enough in there. Now here's the thing. <laughs> We've grown, our palates have changed, we're no longer kids. And we're also out to find the perfect ratio. Like, does this have a better ratio than the double stuff? Or I even the you. mega stuff? Or right the now, that's gonna be interesting. I know, we have them all! Oh. <laughs> well, let's cheers it, man. Bink! Classic. Now, the only problem with Oreos is if you don't eat them properly, you look like you got black crap in your teeth oh, yeah. all day long. Mm -hmm. Can I request something, <laughs> madam? Can I get two forks? I was gonna suggest that. Yeah, if you don't know the magic trick with Oreos, is you use a fork to dunk them. Well, this one's easy, obviously. Actually, you know what? We're gonna start in second. Are we? Yes. And like last time, as we try new flavors, these things will all move. I don't know, man. I feel like we should put it in number one, see if anything to really? throws really? it. Okay, okay. Or are you okay. just so confident that something's gonna throw it? I already, already know. Oh, oh yeah. You know what I just realized? You just broke like three cookies. <laughs> <laughs> double stuff, not double stuffed. Makes sense. I don't remember the last time I ever actually read the package. Yeah, it's because you just go for the pink package. You That's know what you did. Okay, here we go. This is also another reason that Oreo is superior. Superior. <laughs> superior. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Oreo superior. Oh my gosh. Mm, well, it was fun while that. <laughs> You know what though? I'm not even gonna argue. <laughs> this is far superior Way to better. the original. Okay, well we're gonna take it up a notch. Oh my god. And we're gonna see if the mega stuff can dethrone the double stuff. Dude. I don't even, I've never even had a mega stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. There's so much in there. Okay, now here's the Did question. Just show them, show them the thing. <laughs> here's the OG. Here's the mega. And notice the cookie has not changed at all. Here's the question: Is, is so there funny. such thing as too much stuffing? Too much. I think stuff. we're about to find out. This one looks actually like somebody just went through a bag of double stuff, pulled them apart, smashed them together. They probably did. They probably raised the price to do that. There's just some dude in a room. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly That's it. That's his whole job. Because look, you can even see. You can see the line. You can see where they're pushed together. You can see the red. Dude, that's. Look. That's exactly what they did. There's science. I'm going to have so much black stuff in my teeth, that's going to be ridiculous. Hmm. Already? I'm going to say there's too much, there is such <laughs> thing as too much stuff. Agreed. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot. Wow. But it just reaffirms that Ugh. the double stuff is the perfect ratio. That is true. With the regular, you have an overpowering chocolate cookie. With this, you have an overpowering sugary center. That is a lot of sugar. With the double stuff, it's the perfect marriage of chocolate and cream. Mm. 
actually needed to take oh, a little bit of milk so to help that yeah. get down. Push it down a bit. Now here's the real question though. Do you like the overpowering of cookie more or the overpowering of frosting more? Cookie. Uh, I, I think you're I think you're right. Yeah, I'm because right. I feel like I would get sick of these exactly. before I would these. You can eat a full sleeve of these, not even feel guilt. I eat like four of those and I'm like, I'm done for a month. <laughs> now, <sighs> sir. We have discussed on a prior episode yeah. our mutual love of the Golden Oreo. Love the Golden Oreo. This has become my favorite Oreo. As it is mine. It's so wonderful. It's so Got a, pretty. It even smells better. It does. And I feel like even without milk. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even without milk, it's better. Just that beautiful vanilla velvety deliciousness. Now here's the real question. Does this dethrone the double stuff? Now, I'm gonna pull something wild here. I'm gonna say that we know it's at least above that. I'm gonna say. But this is only a single stuffed golden Oreo. Okay. And therefore I believe it is superior to the original, but a little less than the double stuffed. So by that? By that measure we already know the double stuffed golden is gonna go on top. There it is. You can find it with the pink stripe there. Did you ever accidentally buy the wrong one and they get mad? I never get mad buying Oreos. It's a little bit heftier, definitely. Now I hope there's no such thing as a mega stuffed golden Oreo. That would be... <laughs> I might hate that. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Now this also goes without saying. The other reason why I love these, no black crap in your teeth. Exactly. Right, mega stuff. Man. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah! Okay, 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 okay. We're on the same page. Okay, okay. I'm glad we're best friends. Yes! Oh! Now, here comes the dark horse. The polar opposite of the golden Oreo. Okay. I didn't even know they had dark chocolate Oreos until just the other day. See, that's the thing, is I've been so wrapped up in my golden Oreos, I just don't even look at another Oreo. Wow! Cheers, me good sir. Cheers. Okay. We're getting very scientific here. You can tell because we just got quiet. Now remember, think to yourself. <laughs> there's a platter of all these Oreo flavors. Would you grab this before any? Really? Would you? I mean... Would you? Oh, that's a hard... I, I think... Could do, I could do that, but go no further. I think, I think right there. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Mm. Oh, mint cream. These, I have to say, the out. mint Oreos, I've only ever had the fudge dipped mint Oreos. Oh, dude, fudge dipped, so good. Right? Now, I feel like- Now, these are double stuffed. That's the thing is, some of these don't say it, they're double stuffed, but they are. And is it because they know it's a magical combination? Like they just Probably. don't need to list it? Like even that last one. Cause look at that, that's a big boy. Interesting. Is it a strong mint? Smell it. Wow. That's a mint. Minty mint. Wow. It's almost like a piece of gum. <laughs> Far from it. What are you talking about? Dude, that's got the kick of a wintergreen piece of gum without the chew. <laughs> It's like I licked a wintergreen piece of gum. It's got a good flavor. The chocolate's there. The mint is definitely there. The question is, is where does it fall? Really, it's a little too much. A little too much? A little too much what? Mint. Like somebody slapped a freaking wintergreen gum in between two cookies. <laughs> I feel like Andy's mints that you get at Olive Garden are the perfect ratio of chocolate to mint and size. That's why they're small. I could see that. I could do that, but I don't think I could go further. <laughs> I don't think I can do it! Here's what I think. Here's how I decide when it's like that. If those two were on the table, which one would I eat? And that just depends on my mood. No. If I'm gonna be doing a little smoochy smoochy later, I might opt for the mint. Valid! Except then you got black things in your teeth still. So, minty black teeth, <laughs> or... Or just black teeth. Or just black teeth. Okay, I see it. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Now here comes the catalyst. Look at the fancy package. So different. So, so, so different. The thins. I remember having them and I was like, wow. Yeah, not 
bad. Could this have a benefit? Maybe you're on a diet and you still want and crave that Oreo flavor. Yes. But, you know, smaller form factor. Or maybe at least it makes you feel better. <laughs> I have to say, I like the break of the cookie. At the thinness of this, the cookie itself has a nice crisp mm -hmm. punch to it. Mm -hmm. And that makes a big difference to me. I'd agree. What do you think? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Whoa! Okay, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. This is where things get interesting. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I see. I'm, okay. Okay. I, I, I'll go there. I can get behind. Okay. Me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Thins are now in third. Double stuff in second, and the double stub golden. Oh my gosh! I have never seen nor had these. Neither have I. And we're on a journey together, oh, my friend. Oh no! <laughs> Does the thin dethrone number one? It's a long package. Why are all these packages different shapes? <laughs> you took a bite without cheersing me? How dare you call you, me your friend? I was excited. Do you feel thinner? <laughs> so much thinner. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I mean, we already know, like. Better than the double stuff original. Yeah, because it's the. Uh, it's, uh, Golden. Okay. Okay. Now this is where it gets difficult. <laughs> Does it dethrone number one? Oh. Is it better than the double stuff golden? This is tough. Oh, I don't know. You do feel a little bit better about yourself by the <laughs> thin one versus a honking double stuff. And the thin does have a nice kind of like consistent, like a crunchiness to it. Uh huh. But not too crunchy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's kind of like, and I mentioned this in the Chips Ahoy one, the thin ones have that crisp, almost like a brownie baked edge to it. Yes. It's got that nice little crispy texture that is just so nice. But dare, dare Are you being like, it? Dare? Are you like, I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel? Okay. If I'm looking at both of them, I'm gonna reach for that double stuff. You want that bacon. chunky monster right there. I, it's because the thin does have that nice little crisp texture to it. Thin and crispy. But I love, it's got a less vibrant vanilla flavor than the double stuff. True. I, and that I is what draws me to that golden, that double stuff every time. Agree. Okay. I need milk. Okay, here we are. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate thins. Now this could also be that magical ratio combination with flavor. Does this taste better to you? No. If I'm gonna do Oreo, I like a little bit of cream with my cookie. 100%. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. That is good though. Poor mega stuff. Dude, you might as well just put that at 23. Okay, I can get behind that. I mean, if you put him before it, then you'd have to put it before that guy. But I think that's probably not. I like the thins it. more than the regular dark mm -hmm. stuff, dark chocolate. Because there's less of that dark chocolate. You don't get any of these. <laughs> My wife just gave me the death stare. And it's because, like you said, with the uh, the golden, you get less like of that vanilla flavor. So with the thins, you get less of that dark chocolate. Yeah. So, okay, this might help then with this, my earlier issue. This very well could. I'm intrigued. And there it is, nice and thin. Maybe just a little bit of mint will do you good, huh? It's still a powerful smell. It is powerful. But now here's my question. Do you like mint chocolate ice cream? Mm, nah, I'm not a huge fan. My really? My loves it. So you'll grow to love it then. In my ripe old age. <laughs> uh-huh. I can at least put it there. Yeah, I'd agree. Here's the thing. Would you go for one of these over a dark chocolate then? Probably. So by that, it would have to jump up to here, if not here. Yeah, but I feel like that's too high. Well, Maybe this is just in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> forgive us in our 
stupid rating system here. I don't know how. I wonder if those two together would be like real good. I bet they would. They like tame each other. The mint livens up the dark chocolate, the dark chocolate to calms the mint. So when we get into the fudge dipped, there we go. We might see a switch. We might up see here. some change. Speaking of. Speaking of the fudge covered Oreos. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I've been mentally preparing for this. I think day. I'm going down to one bite of cookie. <laughs> Now here's the thing about the fudge cupboard. It's got little inlet holes to let in the milk. Oh, is that what it's for? Or is that just how they know. pick them up? Like a forklift. <laughs> a, for a forklift! <laughs> We've called it. We've titled it now. It has uh, a name. Ow! What just happened? Did you stab yourself? I did. Well, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> one sec, I need a new one. <laughs> My God, I'm slowing. I'm slowing real fast. And just go down one bite. That's all we need. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Huh? Yep. Oh, hold oh, on. Okay. Them's fighting words. Bro, is this double stuffed? No, it's stuff? a single stuff. Okay. More than a golden Oreo. More than the regular golden. I need the the, the doubles or the thins. Maybe it's just because I'm getting Oreoed out. <laughs> I'm just like, nah. These have a, a tie for me and my family to Christmas. Oh, Let's really? These and the white fudge ones. Okay. Are like, live in our pantry during December. Really? Mm -hmm. Is there a reasoning? My dad loved them, and then we all loved them. <laughs> <laughs> and that, friends, is how traditions are born. <laughs> the white fudge. I don't know why I'm looking that up. I'm getting sick. I mean, go ahead and open that up. I'm just going to get this ready. <laughs> White fudge covered Oreo. I'm starting to hurt. There's a war being raged <laughs> inside my intestine. Pick your poison, weapon, whatever. All right. Oh, God. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> now these are not dippable. I figured that out. They melt, huh? Yeah. You get like all slimy. Could you but... syringe it to the inside? <laughs> oh, you got it ready for no. us. Does it go there or does it go there? Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm confident in that. I'm confident. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's better than the chocolate. Oh, no. Here we are, the fudge covered dark chocolate. Oh. Give me the... the, the. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. We can't. We got to give it a thorough testing. It might surprise us. We're almost there, kind of. <laughs> Oh man, I'm getting slap happy. I'm getting so much sugar in my blood that I'm turning <laughs> into a 12 year old in a sleepover. <laughs> exactly. They're a little sloppy with the fudge. <laughs> they were. Somebody's getting lazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, gross. I realized it had dark chocolate in it too. That's a lot of dark. <laughs> yeah, I'm confident with my selection. All right, here we go. Fudge covered mint. Um, Sense of the theme here. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm so slap what happy. Did, did sugar make you feel like drunk, drunk? or something? What's it happening? might. I don't know. I do have to say that these were my ultimate favorite. Oh, really? Not like. I mean, I've never directly compared them to a double stuffed golden Oreo, but in the very rare chance that I would buy Oreo, these were always the ones that kind of curbed that craving. That's it. Yep. It needs the fudge. It does. And it does it really well. We got a lot of lines to bloop, move. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now, here's where Oh no! Now would you buy it over a double stuff? <laughs> wow! 
Wow! I think I could do that. Same. That's a good. That's a good flavor. Uh, that's okay. Awesome. All that's right. what they were missing. I will. I will agree. So now we having fun yet? <laughs> we have done all the variations of all the typical flavors of Oreo, and this is where we start to try the unique flavors to see if we can throw some wrenches in the gears. Lemon Oreo. Oh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Lemon creme. Cheers. Did they clean it with a lemon pledge? <laughs> I mean. It tastes like lemon, lemon pledge smells. I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. You know, I would probably do this, put it there. I'm still not gonna eat it, even if it's available. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's like, if it's anything here and below, I'm just not gonna eat it. You know what's amazing to me though? <laughs> Is we're halfway, more than halfway through this now, <laughs> and the original Oreo has fallen so far. Yeah. Next round, birthday cake. Birthday cake. This one could be, this one could mess some stuff up. You think so? Now here's my problem. I hate cake. You don't like sprinkles? I hate cake. Well, it's not the cake, it's the frosting. Basically. No, I hate cake. It's the frosting. No, I hate frosting, but I also hate cake. It smells yummy. It smells disgusting. I hate cake. <laughs> I hate it. Why do you hate cake? I just do. I don't like it. I'd rather have ice cream. Above everything, I'd rather have gummy bears. You gonna eat it? <laughs> I don't want to. And that is about as far as I need to go. That tastes exactly like birthday cake icing in between two chocolate cookies of Oreo. That's what it is. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> you know, I'd probably go up above Maybe, yeah. I don't know if I'd have that before a lemon. You had to eat one or die. I mean, I'd eat both if I had to before dying. Just one though. I'd eat the lemon one over this one. See, I would put this, I would eat this over the lemon. You do you. I'll trust you, I'll like, I'll, whatever. I ain't eating anything past here. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. Ew, I don't like it. Peanut butter, you don't like peanut butter? I do, just not. I usually don't like it in cookies. It smells really peanut buttery. It smells really good. Dude. So next to the mega stuff guy, you got peanut butter guy, and he's just <laughs> he's got a jar of peanut butter. He's just slamming it all there. There we are. It looks a little alien to me. I don't know why. Oh god. <laughs> yes, six counting this one. Uh, six more bites. Six more. <laughs> you know, it's not really that bad. <laughs> that bad oh. but the thing is if you're going for oreo you're damn well not gonna go peanut butter <laughs> it's true go i gotta it. i gotta try it with milk just for good measure A pile of rejected cookies over there <laughs> it doesn't get better <laughs> chocolate chocolate peanut butter and peanut pie. butter pie oh. it's mixed it's a graham flavored cookie <gasps> Oh. Peanut butter and chocolate flavored cream. So not at all an Oreo. I'm so Oreoed out that everything right now just tastes disgusting. <laughs> Even if I were to have a golden double stuff right now, I feel like I would throw I it in the it. trash. This one's actually kind of good. It's not bad. This one's better than. It's definitely better than that guy and that guy. I'd even put it above this guy. Uh huh. Better than the lemon. Probably. Better than the birthday cake. <coughs> Better than the mint. And by that fault, better than the dark chocolate. Now here's the question, is it better than the regular Oreo? That's pretty dang good, dude. I think the graham cracker is what does. The graham cracker brings it home. I could put it over this. I could too. What about the thins and mint? And the dark chocolate thins. Were we high? When did this go to buy that? <laughs> no, no, how did that happen? <laughs> well, let's fix that. <laughs> okay, there? Yeah. All right, I'm confident with that. I would have that right below a gold Oreo. That's not bad. I like. That's pretty good. It's that... much better. Like the chuck, the peanut butter is too much. But when you got the peanut butter with chocolate and then graham, yeah, that's a winning combination. Not bad at all. You know what would be really good? S'mores bingo. Yeah. Putting a little bit of marshmallow in that. Get rid of the peanut butter, put the marshmallow there. Oh my lord! All right, there it is. Marshmallow pieces in cookie with chocolate marshmallow cream flavor. Four more nibbles, and then we don't have to eat an Oreo <sighs> for years. 
Here we are. I don't even remember the flavor. We're starting to go through the next stage. Regret. <laughs> <laughs> the cream is like cream cream. Like It's marshmallow cream. That's kind of yummy. <laughs> wow. Well, it's a weird app. Give it a kind of has a weird aftertaste. <laughs> no. I see where they were trying to go with this. It tastes like Lucky Charms. That's the aftertaste. It's like they put Lucky Charms in the cookie. They did. It's marshmallow. Oh, truth. Okay, not a fan, maybe there. What do you think? This thing about the same. Cause it's also overpowering or like too much sugar. It's too much too sugar, sugar again. It, the ratio is off. Do you like carrot cake? No. I don't either. It's so dumb, <laughs> I put carrots in a cake. <laughs> carrot cake, you'd think this would be seasonal. Apparently it's a hot commodity. Carrot cake flavored cookie with cream cheese frosting. <laughs> God, I want to throw up right now. Are there carrot chunks in the cookie? Oh, I can't. My body's gonna start throwing up. Get it? Got it. All right, come on. Lift is up. That ginger? What is that? Is that ginger? I put it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's nutmeg. Ah, nutmeg. I'm taking it down. We got a new low. <laughs> we got a new low. I can deal with that. I would take a fudge covered dark chocolate Oreo before I ever took a carrot one. That is gross. Two more. I'm also not a fan of carrot cake, are you? No, we already discussed this. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> oh no. Caramel coconut. Oh, I didn't oh, even read. Just put Car it directly <laughs> in the toilet. Caramel coconut, here we go. Oh. Two rounds ago. <laughs> Caramel coconut, all right. Let's change our mindset here. We're looking to see if a unique flavor can dethrone the top. We know the answer. I know how you are with coconut, so I was curious to see how it's, your reaction it's more, was. It's not the flavor, it's the texture. The aftertaste is nice. It's strong, mm -hmm. but it's nice. Very coconutty. Holy crap. <laughs> no way! Would you That's eat it not... before the carrot cake? Heck yeah! I'd even eat it before the chocolate covered dark fudge. Really? Yeah. Even before the peanut butter one. The peanut butter one was atrocious. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Last one. Last and final Oreo. Ugh. Let's see if this one has what it takes to throw in the champ. Maple cream. This is Canadian. Limited edition, you don't say. Golden cookie. Hold up. We like golden. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were pointing that out. Golden cookie with maple flavored cream. Now, this could be really good. This could taste like an Eggo. Waffle Chris. A Waffle Chris. Who knows? Let's see, maple cream. Does it have what it takes? It's not overpowering. Mm -mm -mm. I'm dying. <laughs> Regret, hope. <laughs> <laughs> light at the end of the tunnel. Are we seeing that light at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> getting that second wind? Obviously. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Of course. Uh huh. No question. Uh huh. Definitely I mean, come better. On. Yep. Silly them. Terrible. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Yeah, uh huh. Really? I think it, yeah. Okay, all right, I'm following. Okay, I'm following. okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. Well, obviously. Really? Obviously? I mean, okay, now, chocolate peanut butter pie. That one was actually really good. This is where it's getting hard for me, because these, I feel like these can interchange uh -huh. depending on my mood. Because this one's got that maple, this one's got that graham. Yeah. If I'm feeling, you know, kind of festive, breakfast mm -hmm. moody. Limited. Limited. <laughs> Limited edition. <laughs> I'm gonna go maple. Feeling unique today. <laughs> you know? But let's be honest, I'm really just gonna stay right up here in the top. Pretty three. much. <laughs> Hardly ever going to venture down anything past. And that's if I ever eat Oreos ever again. There you have it. We found it, people. The Golden Double Stuff Oreo is first place, which just goes to show, follow your gut. Because that's what we knew would be the best hit <laughs> from the beginning. Well, if you enjoyed this episode of us trying a bunch of different cookies and ranking them, make sure you check out our prior episode. Chips Ahoy edition. Did the same thing and it was a lot of fun. 
and a lot less. Yeah, it was a lot <laughs> less. I feel I feel, and I way feel it. worse. Maybe because we started out so hard. Like I ate like two cookies of the first like ten. <laughs> I ate a lot of cookies. Oh well, now your questions have been answered. You know which cookies are the best. Yeah. If you disagree, let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know what your number one Oreo would be if it's different than ours, or if you agree with our rankings. Highly doubt that. But yep. this is what our tongues agree on. And uh, if you want a little treat for your ears, check out our podcast. Five's the crowd. You're gonna love it. We'll link it down in the description as well in the eye in the sky. Huge shout out and thank you to all of our members, whether you're paying or non. We just appreciate you tuning in and supporting us either way. Love you. Bye. Deuces. I mean, at a certain point, you show up to a party and they have only these guys. <laughs> you might I'm, just pass that I'm table. I'm finding another party. <laughs> Dear God, I haven't had this much sugar in a while. Mm -mm. You getting sweepy? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>